Kojima on his back and in a brand new arena style fighter. This series was my childhood way back in the day with Pokemon and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now with a new fighting game out since Rumble Arena, could this be the new game that fans have been waiting for? Welcome to Digimon All-Star Rumble. Alright, for presentation, the voice acting in the game sounds great in game and in battle. Some voice actors return and some newer ones replace older ones like Agumon. In the story mode, there is no voice act dialogue, just text scrolling like a PlayStation 2 game or something. I really don't seem to care about the story at all and it detaches me from it because Digimon All-Star Rumble makes the same mistake as Soul Calibur 5 did with their storyline and presents each scene like a PowerPoint slide presentation. Now there's some good sides to the story mode and the overall presentation of battle mode and everything else in one piece. The game, menus, and aesthetics are very clean and future-like, but the presentation of the characters are reduced to a podium scene after winning matches. Kind of like the Olympics where you have first place and second place. Boring. Come on guys. Do your victory dance scene or a pose or something like Super Smash Brothers. You gotta style things up cause you're up against the big boys now. Now there are two good things about the overall presentation of this game and it's really cool and it'll get the fans psyched up. And it's digivolving and this final special attacks. It's cool to see the super cool scenes of War Greymon or Mega Gururumon or Dururumon do their final attacks while in game or in match destroying anyone in their path. Now for gameplay, I can compare it to the likes of my all-time favorite fighter, Power Stone 2, but on a grand smaller scheme. Your controls are basic, from a normal attack, special attack, blocking, and jump. Strike to build combos up and cause some serious damage. You can also pull off air combos and special attacks powered up by Digicards. Digicards can be strategically used at the end of every combo or finishing move. And lastly, those final special attacks, just look at this awesomeness. And also for each and every level and stage, they have their own hazards, elevations to make them unique and interactive. Alright, so there's three different game modes, story mode, battle mode, and training mode. Training mode is pretty obvious, you hone your skills in the practice arena. Next up is the story mode. Story mode is an adventure for your chosen Digimon. You go out into the open field and battle wild Digimon and fight rivals in separate arenas. Journey out and find treasure and find partners to assist you along your way. Also fight big bosses that are fully digital evolved to find out what's causing the trouble in the digital world. This was fun for me personally because I get to use each Digimon and follow their separate story. Their story took about a few hours to do and you know I get to unlock Digicards and new characters. Now battle mode is where the party's really at. With many different battle modes to declare the winner, my favorite was damage race and flag race. Damage race was to see who can build up the most damage before time ran out. The 2 to 4 player madness in action was crazy and really addicting once with friends. Those four player actions and everybody doing a final attack and special attack and seeing Digivolving in game feels exciting and brings back sweet memories as I destroy everybody with War Greymon and his spirit bomb attack. <laughs> Boom sucker! So for the final verdict of Digimon All-Star Rumble, for gameplay and design, I'm going to give it a B-. It's a good and fun time with friends and a decent time in the solo campaign. Only wish they did more the story and voice acting and have more scenes involved with the campaign. Now for the replay value, I'm going to range it around the mid with a cool and short story for the adventure mode and to get new characters and the battle modes to have with the fun of fans reliving that Digimon action with their favorite Digimon. And now for the consumer report. Get it around mid price, buy it new and support the company. Uh, these guys did it for the first time and this is their first input to the series and it's a great homage to fans everywhere and it's a great game for your collection. So go ahead and try it out. I love it. You should too. Well that's it for today's video but if you want to see more go ahead and click on my main channel Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.